In this video, I'm going to answer four big questions about whey protein. Is it bad for you? How to best use whey protein? Do you need it? And which is ultimately better, real food versus whey protein? First of all, I need to say whey protein will help you build more muscle. It will help you hit your protein numbers, but it's not magic. You can't have a poor training program, have terrible nutrition, but drink three protein shakes a day and think that you're gonna build muscle, think that you're gonna grow. Your nutrition needs to be on point and your training program needs to be on point and you need to be using the correct form. First off, is whey protein bad for you? Now the short answer is no, but it depends on what brand you use. So I always recommend using a trusted brand. A lot of people will say, oh, it's just whey protein, it's all the same. And I'm not saying there isn't any truth to that, but over the years there have been many companies caught lying about how much protein is in their product for example they might say this product has 30 grams of protein per serving but when it's been tested in the lab it actually only has 14 grams per serving so you have to be careful about which brand you use and i'm going to list on the screen right now some of the trusted brands that i would recommend you use i don't have any links i don't have any discount codes and i don't make any profit from you buying these products these are just simply the products that i use another question that comes up a lot about whey protein being bad for you is that too much protein is bad for the kidneys that's a myth that's simply not true there is not one study in the world that shows that eating more protein or higher protein diet is going to be bad for your kidneys the body is very smart, the body's an amazing thing. If you eat too much protein, more protein than your body really wants, which I actually recommend you do eat slightly more so that your body gets everything it needs, your body will simply take the amount of protein it wants, utilize that, utilize those amino acids, and then it will dispose through the kidneys of the protein that it doesn't want. It will just simply get rid of the extra. There's also been some talk about can whey protein increase hair loss, and again, there is not one single study on the planet that can prove that whey protein can cause hair loss or promote hair loss and therefore it's my belief and it should be your belief that it doesn't promote hair loss. Whey protein has been around for that long now that in my opinion if it did promote or cause hair loss then this would have been found in numerous studies by this point with it being such a researched product. Whey protein is also just a byproduct of cheese basically it's a it's a dairy product so unless you're lactose intolerant, then you're not going to have any trouble at all with whey protein. And we don't go around saying that other dairy products cause hair loss. Whey protein is also in baby food. And what do babies need to do? Babies need to grow. That's the point of baby food. So most of you have probably already been consuming whey protein when you're a baby. On to the next question. Do you need whey protein powder? Now, the answer is no, you don't need whey protein. But just because you don't need something doesn't mean you shouldn't take advantage of it. So if your daily protein target is 150 grams per day and you can get all of that from eggs and chicken and grass-fed beef or even plant-based foods, if that's what you want to do, that's absolutely fine. I know for me and for a lot of people, trying to hit your protein numbers each day can be a difficult thing to do. And so taking advantage of a scoop of whey protein is just gonna allow you to hit those numbers more easily. It's easy to just put a scoop of whey protein and mix it up and drink that with one of your meals or even have that after a workout. One thing I would say, even though personally I don't even class whey protein as a supplement because it's a dairy product, but anything that might be classed as a supplement should supplement your diet. That means you have a very solid nutrition plan and then the protein and any other supplement supplements all of the good fundamental work that you're doing with your nutrition plan. So now how do we best use whey protein powder? The best way to use it in my opinion is post-workout, especially if you're fasted. The reason is because, because post-workout you get the insulin spike because whey protein is such a lean source of protein. That in combination with 20 to 40 grams of carbohydrates is gonna allow for maximum growth after your workout. Now, if you've eaten a higher protein meal before your workout, at any point before that workout, then the research actually suggests that that post-workout shake isn't really important at all for muscle growth. And so you don't have to have that shake right after your workout. What I recommend doing is either training fasted or if you're not training fasted and you've had that high protein meal a few hours before, use your whey protein shake alongside the meal of the day that you struggle to hit the most protein in. So if you have a certain meal that you only seem to get 30 grams and all the other meals you get 50 grams, then use your whey protein shake alongside that meal. The question is, what is better, whey protein 
versus real food. So if you had the choice between a grass-fed, grass-finished steak or a scoop of whey protein, which is going to be better? The answer is always going to be real food. Real food is always going to be better than a whey protein shake other than post-workout if you're fasted. Because if you're fasted and you have that post-workout, you want that insulin spike, whey protein will give you a better insulin spike than any type of meat will. I do think whey protein is only superior to real food post-workout if you're fasted. Any other time in the day, a grass-fed steak, grass-finished steak, or even egg are going to be always be better than a whey protein shake. Now, there'll be a lot of people on the internet who are trying to tell you the opposite to that, and those people are obviously just trying to sell you a certain product or trying to get you to click their link so that they can get a 20% commission off of selling you a whey protein product. But real food is always going to be better than a whey protein shake. People want to believe that the whey protein is better, obviously because it's simpler. It's really easy to use and it's a supplement. People have been marketed their whole life that supplements are the way to go and supplements are going to help you build that much more muscle and it's really not true. Supplements are helpful but they're only really going to give you that little boost, that little bit extra. And one more thing that I need to say is weight gainer shakes which do contain whey protein are a no-go. There is no weight gainer shake that you should be drinking. They're just full of sugar, maltodextrin, dextrose. They really are horrible products. If you really need a weight gainer shake, just drop a comment and I'll actually tell you how you can make a weight gainer shake with whey protein and other ingredients as well.